Hi, this is Shelby with Stage Right Secrets, and we're here with Drew. It's nice to see you. Good to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So first question. What we got? All right. Take me back to when you first signed with this music. Where were you, and what was your reaction? Oh my goodness, it was a it was a long process. So I knew it was I knew it was coming um, when you get signed to a publishing deal. It normally takes like six months, probably for them to finally say, "All right, hey, you're part of the team." So yeah. it was it was a very scary moment too, um, <laughs> of like, "Okay, is this really happening? Is this really happening? Are you gonna back out on me or what?" <laughs> and uh, you know, it just I couldn't be more blessed to be there because yeah. it's just been like these guys have taken me in, the whole team has, and just really become part of my story. And they're they're very uh, Christian based. My publisher is you know a great Christian man and always texts me all the time. Hey, we just gotta be thankful for what God's given us, you know, that's and, awesome. and that's it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's great. You've had the performance bug since you were very very little. I have yes. So what's it like to actually kind of be living out your dream now? It's unbelievable. You know, just in the past um, couple of weeks we had a song come out on Sirius XM the highway and we just found out today it's number 23 um, yeah. on the on the top 45 this week so that just blows my mind and it's crazy to be out here and actually play the song and people see sing along you know yeah. when you're growing up and I did a lot of talent shows where I was dancing and like Michael Jackson and danced Grease and all kinds of stuff but it's different when you're on stage of course we're still dancing but singing and people singing the words back you're like wow this is so humbling and what a blessing yeah you're stealing my questions <laughs> oh i'm sorry i'm That's sorry right. i'm a thief <laughs> uh what is one thing that you want to achieve through touring sorry i just i just want to achieve uh you know legitimizing myself and the fans that i already have um, we've made a lot of fans in the past couple of years and i'm just touring the midwest and i want to keep furthering myself and my music and my career and uh, with better songs and better music and the fans that I already have be happy in what I'm doing because yeah. I make the music for them. Of course I make it for myself but it's, it's for them. If I didn't have them I wouldn't be able to make it. Yeah and you're very very in touch with your fans. Oh I am. Over social media and what is the weirdest thing that you've been asked over social media? Oh my goodness. I've been asked so many things. I've had somebody send me a message one time and said hey are you ready for a cougar or anything like that? <laughs> and I was like whoo! I don't know. That's probably the weirdest. That's probably the weirdest. <laughs> You're like, I don't know about that. I'll get back to you. I'll later. get back to you later on that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So, if you have you ever had like a fangirl moment over like social media or in person, like seeing someone? Me have a fangirl yeah. like seeing an artist yeah. that I played with. Um, we played with Luke Bryan a while back, and I had a little bit of a fangirl time with that. But um, I'm a huge fan of Josh Turner, and. Nice. Uh, you know, I grew up singing in church, and so he was one of my idols um, growing up and singing. And we played a couple of shows with him. We did a run up in the Northeast. That's and cool. uh, I'll never forget coming up on stage and singing our set. And I told, you know, the whole crowd that Josh is the reason why I started doing country music. I moved to Nashville at, at uh, you know, 19. But, but the reason why is because I saw Josh Turner at the Wild Horse Saloon. Oh, I've been there. It's and, an amazing place. Yeah, and my mom surprised me on my 18th birthday with tickets. And uh, I remember sitting in front row. I'm just looking up and like, oh my gosh, this guy is just amazing. He's the best thing ever. And uh, so that was the night I kind of realized, you know, I think I'm going to move to Nashville. I'm going to try to do this. And then here it was, five years later, I was playing shows with him. And I played played the first show and I told the crowd that story. Yeah. And uh, I was out front listening to Josh. Josh is set, of course. He's just flawless and he was singing. <laughs> and uh, he paused in the middle and he said, you know, we just need to take this time right here and say how good of a job Drew Baldridge just did. And I looked at my drummer and I was just bawling my eyes. I was like, this is, this is amazing. <laughs> oh my this gosh, is my that's dream. So cool. Yeah, it's, it's just so, so amazing. Yeah, oh. so that was, that was definitely fan girl top notch right there. <laughs> Top notch fangirl. Definitely the top yeah. notch best I've ever heard. <laughs> I love it. All right, and if you could describe your music, please do so. Um, well, the single that we have out right now is just a lot of dance. You know, we do yeah. a lot of dancing on stage. I love dancing. I grew up, you know, dancing to Michael Jackson and talent shows. And yeah. MJ was just one of my favorite. I know I'm a country dude, but yep. I just love some MJ. And yeah, I just, you got to do a cover. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> so I came in to write this song, and I knew I wanted to write something I could dance to. Yeah. And uh, so this single is very dance oriented. But a lot of the other music is, uh, you know, a lot of it's about small town life. And I grew up in a real small town in Potoka, Illinois. And there's some songs that we just cut in the past uh, couple of months. You know, one's called Tractors Don't Roll, which I'm really happy about. It talks about um, on Sundays, you know, everybody, the tractors work all week, but on Sundays the tractors don't roll. And, um, you know, it's just a lot about small town living. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah.